Hey, Tiomi here. So today I wanted to do my 2019 reading plans. And I'm going to be having the first week where I want to dedicate it to things that I'm going to be either anticipating in 2019, sequels that I'm really excited for 2019, or, you know, just books that I want to continue in 2019. So that's what I'm going to do with the first week of this new year. I also want to I wish you a happy new year. I want to say thank you for watching and I'm just going to give you the reading plans for 2019. I noticed that I didn't have one for 2018 because 2017 was such a rough year. Um, um, Hurricane Maria hit the island in 2017 so it was around December at nearly around the beginning of December that we got power back and just 2018 was a roller coaster of emotions I wanted to um be a little bit more consistent but I became a little bit more consistent like near towards the end um but I'm really uh, glad for what I did throughout the year so we're gonna have a new year new um reading plans and new resolution resolutions for the year these are all bookish resolutions so Without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, I did finish 2018 with reading, I think it was 78 books. So for this new year, I want to read at least 80 books. And I want to divide it between graphic novels, audiobooks, and also um, physical reads. I'm not going to say about reading more diversely because I do read um, really diversely. But I do want to pick up different genres. I want to pick up more historical fiction and also thrillers. But I'm going to be looking into thrillers just because... I'm a light reader and thrillers have to be like a little, you know, not too um, grotesque and not too bent on horror because if not, I won't be able to read them. But um, thrillers are ones that I got into in 2018 and I'm hoping for really good thrillers throughout the year. Um, I do want to balance out my reading a lot more just because I do tend to procrastinate a lot more and I also int intentionally procrastinate. This is something that I've noticed that I've been doing as of late but I want to have the strive to at least every other day to pick up a book and like give my give me incentive to pick up a book because sometimes I'm like oh no my head hurts I don't want to read oh because I do have a difficult job so at the end of the day I become more mentally exhausted than anything else and sometimes I just don't want to read because I just want to have you know an RR moment I just want to rest and relax and you know I just want to balance my reading I just want to include a little bit more reading every now and then even if I read five pages even if I read ten pages you know at least I read something during that day something that was more for me than for work um the next one that I want to do is also reread a lot of love series I am going to be doing um I wanted to do a read-along for the Witchland series but unfortunately I didn't have time to do anything so I'm going to be rereading the Witchlands throughout the month of January but I do want to reread books that I love because I I don't uh, I'm not one that like you know I get to over like I don't even know the word that I want to use but like I don't become too infuriated when I have too many books on my TBR like this is my personal library I don't get too overwhelmed that's the word I wanted to use I don't get too overwhelmed if I have too many books in my library because this is my library if I have maybe 100 books that I haven't read that's perfect throughout the year maybe in the future I will eventually pick these books up because there's nothing better or more satisfying than me actually going to my library and like seeing books that I haven't read and then picking those books out um so yeah I don't get too exaggerated when it comes to that because I do like to reread um love books because I always say that you know if you love these books then you should definitely you know go back into that world and experience the books that you loved and I do want to reread the Lunar Chronicles because I really don't remember much from the Lunar Chronicles and I also want to reread Six of Crows duology I wanted to read it in 2018 but I didn't and I'm just so sad that I didn't get to read it but uh, you know I'm gonna reread it in 2019 um for subscriber count wise I really like don't get me don't get this the wrong way um i do love everybody that subscribes to my channel and i do love when we interact but it really isn't the main reason why i, I did my channel like if i grow i grow if i get up to a, a thousand subscribers then i'll be fine you know i i'm not a person that's salty when somebody else you know um becomes bigger in book two because you know at the end of the day it comes down to luck and you know i'm grateful for all these people that have strived throughout um booktube and you know i i, I will always praise them i love it when people get recognized but you know i i just i wanted to do this to um speak about books books that i love and i love when we have interactions every now and then because obviously you know um that count watch does is important because you are exposed to a lot more people but it's not something that i go to sleep saying no i want to have a thousand subscribers by the end of this month i want to have a thousand subscribers by the end of this month because like i'm content with the ones that i have with the ones that do socialize with me you know and i'll socialize back with them so that's not something that i'm heavily influenced on and I, I hope that I explained that right. Um, the next one that I want to continue a little bit more with, and that is consistent uploading. I want to have it in me to at least upload once a week, maybe occasionally two times a week. It depends on how my schedule is. But I want to have something that at least I can update every 
um, week and have something that I can post on the internet. So that's something that I'm going to strive a lot more for. And I'm also going to strive to participate more in readathons and or read-alongs. I tend to be a little hermit, little crab, um, but I'm going to try and step out of this comfort zone because, you know, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I don't even know why I do it, but I do want to participate more in readathons and also read-alongs because I've seen that, you know, I haven't. And also, like, um, commenting a lot more on videos is something that I had mentioned to myself that I wanted to do. I watch a lot of videos, and sometimes I forget to comment. And then when I say, oh, you have to go back and comment on that video, I just completely forget about it. But these are all the reading plans that I want to accomplish for 2019. Um, I don't know. I just want to thank you for watching. If you want to hit that subscribe button and subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next video. Peace.